Hey everyone, so today we are doing a very exciting video. I feel like the title, I probably wasn't able to explain this very well because I kind of like mixed a few things. So like there's been like blindfolded, like choosing things from a store. And then there's like first thing I touch, I have to use. And I kind of took both those concepts and like slam them together so i don't know which one i talked about most i thought it would be fun to do a video where i basically blindfoldedly choose the first item i touch for makeup hair and outfit so like many different makeup pieces but all the ones that i choose first blindfolded and then vice versa with the hair and also the outfit then getting like a bunch of pieces, so like a bunch of makeup products, a bunch of hair products, a bunch of outfit pieces, and then finally taking off my blindfold, sitting down, and getting ready with all of the things that I chose blindfolded and without feeling around. Like it's like the first thing I touch. Because I actually feel like if I was able to feel around blindfolded, I think I would be able to get a decent outfit. So I didn't wanna have that. I wanted it to just be like whatever I reach forward and grab, that's what it has to be. I can't like feel around, make sure it's pants, make sure it's a shirt. So that is what we're going to be doing today. And I thought it would be fun to do it in Target. Now there's no Target very close to where I live. So I think that we better go somewhere else. So I'm gonna be traveling. I already was planning on going somewhere. So I just thought that it would be fun to pull this video in with that. So in this video, we are going to be going to Target, blindfoldedly choosing the first thing I touch for a get ready with me. I don't know if that makes sense. If it doesn't make sense yet, hopefully the video will explain it because that is in fact what we're gonna be doing. Um, I don't know if it's been done before. I know like concepts like this have been done before, but I don't know if all of it has been put together. So I hope that is fun. I hope you guys enjoy. And let's go ahead and get into this process. All right, you guys, so we are in sunny Palm Springs right now. Had to transport myself all the way to a Target. I've got this, which I'm gonna use for a blindfold because I was thinking I wanna do something that isn't super noticeable because, like, I feel like we might get kicked out. But I feel like if I have this and I just pull it down like that, like, that's totally normal. People walk around Palm Springs like this all the time, right? No. But maybe no one will notice. I got my mom here. <laughs> mom, bring it out. Pull it out. <laughs> I got my mom here. She's gonna be filming. You guys know how amazing she is at filming. Get ready to see her finger in frame a lot. Oh, hopefully we won't get too dizzy with this vlogging. It's gonna be a mess. Are we vlogging? We're gonna be good. We're okay. vlogging. <laughs> so basically, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be going into like the beauty, the clothing, the shoes, and I'm gonna be putting the blindfold over, and I'm just gonna reach out and grab something, and then we're gonna put it in the cart. We're gonna check out. I'm not gonna look at anything. I'm gonna get my mom to check out for me and then I'm gonna open everything up when we're back home and get ready with it. Okay, one correction. I'm gonna put the blindfold on you. <laughs> Bucket hats look really good on some people and then they make me look like a giant baby. <laughs> I used to wear these as a baby. <laughs> Didn't I? I like that hat. <laughs> so we're inside, we're in the makeup aisle. So right now we're gonna try and get a bow. Did I pick 15 things? Well, I think so because you're not gonna know what you're getting. Yeah, so you I might, might get like five all like I, things. I can't even feel around. I have to just reach for it and grab it. So if I, I could get like 10 lipstick, you might break a nail. <laughs> We're gonna try and go where there aren't people. Should we have a code word for if I'm about to run into somebody? It's gonna be, uh, zip. <laughs> How about, um, yeah, like I said. <laughs> yeah. Like I said. Okay, this aisle is completely empty. Let's do it. Okay. There you go. Now you're doing it. Hey. That should work. That should work for foundation. I'm not feeling good about that. Oh, that's your color. Go 
going in again. Going. Tool now, and we'll see. Someone there. Oh, I grabbed two. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean to grab two. Are they the same thing? They're the exact same. Should I just put one in? That's okay. Quiet on set. All right, so we got the makeup. We got, I was trying to get 15 pieces, but we got 18 and then I got the hair stuff. Now we're in the clothes. So I'm gonna close my eyes because I feel like it gets less attention. My mom's gonna guide me around. The only thing here is whatever I choose, my mom's gonna then grab my size because I feel like if I just pick like the wrong size and everything, there's no real point. So I'm just gonna pick the article of clothing and then she's gonna pick the sizing. So I'm gonna close my eyes. My mom's gonna guide me. <laughs> to somewhere that I don't know. <laughs> okay, here we go. And I'm not opening my eyes. Okay. I'm not a quitter. I've got the video on you, so. We watching you, Mia. <gasps> oh, I just touched something. Okay, whoops. Okay, you would grab the right size too. Oh, wow. All right, Good. now for real, guide me. I'll keep my hands straight. Yeah, keep your hands. <gasps> I touched something. <laughs> <laughs> Is it the same thing? No. So we'll get that one too. That'll be nice on you. Will it actually? Oh yeah, you're gonna look. You got. You're gonna go out for lunch with me in these new outfits. Am I near people? Nope. All right, I'm going. Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> Is it your first day with legs or what? <laughs> Am I like in the? Middle you're, of the yeah, you're in the you're in the middle of an aisle. <laughs> yeah, you gotta feel oh, honestly, around. Are there, people? there isn't. Okay, I'm gonna run. Don't, don't run <laughs> into a wall. Okay, grab something. Okay, so now just keep your hands. This is a sweater. I'm gonna go back into that area with all the cute stuff. Okay. The area with the overalls. <laughs> <laughs> I want to accidentally pick the overalls. Okay. Okay, got something else. Okay. <laughs> okay. We're on the same rack, and they're her size. Close enough. <laughs> <laughs> Careful there, girl. That's cute. That's cute. Is this a freaking tank top? I look off on tank tops. My physique really wasn't made for tank tops. Okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna get grab those in your size. <laughs> no! No! <laughs> That's great. <laughs> so well, you can get those in your size. <laughs> Here's six in your size. Those will work. All right, you guys. So we have a full box. Mom, hold it up and let me see. <laughs> That's everything that we got. So a bunch of makeup, a bunch of outfit pieces. We'll see what I can put together. We're gonna transport back home 
and I'm gonna do all the makeup. Let's see what we can come up with with our blindfolded Target run, not sponsored by the way. <laughs> all right, you guys, now it is officially one week later and I have not looked at anything. Now I did see a few things just out of like my peripherals, but I don't remember and I also didn't get a good enough look to like remember specifically what it was. And if anything, there's like three products that I might have an idea what they are, but there are so many more products in these bags. Like, oh my goodness, Target has so much stuff also. Like, what the heck? Before we started filming and I was looking around, I was like seeing so many things that I wanted. So now I'm just hoping that blindfolded... <laughs> Also, I got sick. So now I'm just hoping that blindfolded Mia was able to find them. I want to go back into that area with all the cute stuff. Okay. The take. area with the overalls. <laughs> I really don't think so. I was fully just like reaching forwards. My mom was guiding me places. I was just reaching randomly. I have no idea what I picked out. My mom thought it was quite funny, a lot of the things I got. So I guess without further ado, we will see. I am barefaced. Hair is not done, outfit is not finished, so we are gonna start off with grabbing the makeup products. Hopefully there's like foundation, mascara, eyeliner, all of the things you need for a full face. Well, not everyone needs, but I need for a full face of makeup. So I think without further ado, we'll reach into the bags and just see what we got. So all the makeup is in this bag, and yes, this one isn't reusable, sadly. I do have one reusable bag, but it all didn't fit in there, so I had to get a plastic one, but I'll reuse it. The first glance in this bag, it looks like I got like a lot of eyelashes. I'm a little bit worried. I see a lot of... Okay. Okay, well, I don't want to look all without you guys. So I'll just reach my hand in randomly and we will talk about each product quickly. So first one, Magnetic Accent Lashes from Ardell. Uh, I've never tried these. I have tried magnetic lashes, but not these ones specifically. I feel like because they're accent lashes, it might be a little bit easier to use. And then I see more eyelashes. I got Allure Lux Faux Mink Lashes. So <laughs> I got a lot of lashes. I wonder if I got any mascara. Tweezer Man. I got some tweezers. These ones are cute, actually. They're like blue sparkly tweezers. I have a lot of tweezers, but I guess another pair doesn't hurt. Okay, this is one of the products that I actually think that I saw out my peripherals. I didn't see like what brand it was or anything, but I saw like a little quadrant of green eyeshadow. So this is from Makeup Geek, which I've never tried before, and it's the Olive You palette. And so there's four shades, all green. If these are the only eyeshadows, then I guess we're doing a green look, but not sure. Oh. Ooh, a L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation, and this is in the shade 490. It's not that far off my actual, mm, I can tell myself it's close, but that's a little dark for me. I'm hoping for a light concealer, but I don't know. Hydrating Primer Serum from e.l.f. I've never tried that. Oh, another e.l.f. Hello, 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 hello. Glow Setting Powder. Wow, okay, this might just be a little bit useless for me because it's a setting powder, but it's like brown. So I might use this as a contour color, but I don't think it'll be a setting one. Oh, what is this? I must have got these little hair clips. These are cute. All right, these look to be two mascaras. This is the Maybelline Falsies Lash Lift Mascara. Now, is this one purple? Oh no, this is in the shade very black. Okay, for the second I thought the packaging was, it was purple. And then we've got the L'Oreal Voluminous Original Mascara. I've used this before, it's really good. It's very volumizing. And then we've got an Essie Nail Polish. So I don't really use nail polishes as much anymore because I get my nails done. But this is in the shade Wicked. Nice. <laughs> I must have strayed off into the nail polish without knowing. And what is this? A Revlon, ooh, Soft Silver Rose Lipstick, okay. All right, it's like a little metallic rosy pink color. Doesn't smell like anything. This is the Pixie Natural Brow Duo. Okay, what color is this? Natural brow, natural blonde now. I may be blonde, but my eyebrows are not. Wow, what is this? Pencil and gel, that will be a fun product. I'll definitely give it a go. Maybe it'll lighten my eyebrows, I'm not sure. We will see. There's another pixie thing in here. Oh my gosh. It's the natural, it's the same exact thing, 
but in the shade natural brown. Wow. Okay, so I must have like grabbed two things right beside each other. I actually can kind of remember when I did this. So I grabbed the blonde, which will be great for my mom, and then the brown, which I will use. It worked out. And then another bronzer. This is the e.l.f bronzer. I recognize this one. Okay, how many products did I get? I remember I meant to get like 15, but I think I ended up with 18. So Maybelline Unstoppable, my, Unstoppable Eyeliner. This is like a uh, cream eyeliner in the shade Sapphire. I'm getting a little worried because we have no setting powder. NYX Professional Powder Puff Lippy. Wow, this lippy is in the shade Detention. Two more things in here. We've got the e.l.f. Contour Blush Powder. Wow, we have a lot of <laughs> contour, not a lot of setting powder. And then this Rimmel Stay Glossy Lip Gloss. That's really cute, okay? I'm excited about this stuff. Wow, okay. Now, I can honestly say most of this stuff I probably wouldn't have picked up on my own, but that's what makes it more fun. Don't think we're gonna use every single piece of makeup that we got, but I'm definitely gonna try and make a lot of it work. Now, I'm I'm worried right now because like, this is the only foundation I got. Looking around as if something's gonna appear out of nowhere. Is this too dark? Oh, it's so dark. It's so dark, you guys. I'm gonna try it and we will see if we can pull it off. The biggest issue right now is going to be our complexion. So now that we know what we're working with for the makeup, let us get started. Okay, I'm gonna do a quick Google search on like what shade this is because I wanna know how dark this honestly is. 490 Golden Ember. Dang, if I would've went down one Golden Beige, I feel like that would have been so much better. Ugh. Or even one more down. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna try it, but I will not do it if it's like really, really bad. Because like, I'm just thinking, when I, when it's like summertime, <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh no, 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 okay. That is not going to do. Absolutely not. I do really hate cheating at these challenges, but like, I just don't think that this is like, this is not a good look. I thought in the bottle, maybe it would look okay. I think even if I was fake tanned, that would be too dark for me. So I'm gonna try and incorporate that into like a contour or something. But I'm really sorry, you guys. I am going to cheat and use my own foundation. I promise you that will be the only cheat I do. I'm only doing it just because I don't want to offend anyone. And I also don't want to, like, try to be, like, darker than I am. Like, I just think that it's... You guys understand. So I am going to cheat on this one thing. But I promise there will be no cheats from here forward. I promise. But this is actually not bad because I forgot to prime using the e.l.f priming hydrating serum so i've heard good things about this stuff and i actually used to use like a stick primer from elf and it was really good so let's see how this one does all right let's drop a little bit i do need some hydration it's been pretty dry wow oh my gosh it's gliding on so much <laughs> whoa okay now i'm gonna quickly put on my foundation and concealer i'm not going to set it but uh, I will be back. I'll do that off camera. There we go. I have my foundation on. Now, it looks really good. I don't know if it has to do with the primer that I put on before. But, like, this primer seriously was nice. Like, from what I know after trying it for the four minutes that I've had it on, it's been nice. Now, okay, I have to do some bronzing. So, I have a few products. I have the e.l.f. Bronzer Duo and also the contour and blush, and then also this setting powder that will be much too dark for me. So I think before that, I'm just gonna quickly take a little bit of that foundation that was too dark, and I'm just gonna use it as a little bit of a contour, just cause like I don't wanna not use it in the routine. Got it, like I should use it, right? Wow, <laughs> bronzed up a lot, okay. I'm really surprised. I must've been just like really in the face part of e.l.f. because that's all I ended up with, so I'm not complaining. I'm just saying I clearly was gravitating to one spot. Tap a bit of this out. Wow, yeah, this, I really was in the wrong color section for me because this is, 
very dark for me. Definitely going to be a bronzer. I was not expecting to be this bronzed up today, but when you pick your makeup blindfolded, sometimes that's gonna happen. Okay, ripping into both of these, legitimately ripping into them. I'm trying to see if one of these could work as a highlighter because I don't have a high, ooh, that one's a good one. I'm gonna take this blush. It's a very like muted, almost like brown colored blush. I don't know how that will look on me. The only blush we've got, so it's gotta work. My face feels like so gooey because I didn't get to set anything, but that's all right. I'm just going to use the lightest color and I'm gonna try and use this as a highlight. So I'm going to, of course, boop my nose. Oh yeah, I think this will work good actually. At first I was worried because there wasn't a highlight, but products are very like versatile. So if it works, it works. We'll move on into eyebrows. So I have these two products, got the natural blonde, which I'm not gonna use because I've got the natural brown and I got the natural brown. So we may as well use it. I've never heard of this product. It's a two in one. It looks really interesting. I like Pixie products. Now I'm not usually a huge fan of the angle. It's just, Kind of hard to use, but then on this side, there's a little, oh my gosh, so cute. Okay, let's do our brows with this. Now I grew my eyebrows out quite a bit and now I don't really have to fill them in too much. There's just a few spots that need a little bit of help. Is this actually doing anything? It's almost like, you know, like a really dry crayon, like that crayon that just hasn't come out of the package. And it like, it's like, 70 years old, you know that crayon? Yeah, that's what this feels like, no offense. I like the idea though to have like the stick on one end and the spoolie on the other. Yeah, I like this product. The only critique would be a personal preference that I would rather this just be pointed rather than the big thick angle. It just doesn't work for me. But other than that, I really like it. I'm sure my mom will like the blonde one, so I'll consider that a win. Okay, so now for eyeshadow, we have the green Makeup Geek palette and the Sapphire Smudge Pencil. So we're gonna just make this work the best way we know how. I think that I know what I'm gonna do with this, probably including these three right here. So let's get into the eyes. Okay, so first out of this quadrant, I'm gonna take this matte taupe color and I'm just going to put it into the crease more at the outer edge than in the inside. Wow, that is so pigmented. Wow, I was not expecting that to be honest. Now I can only assume that this green is gonna be pigmented as well. So I'm gonna just be careful. And I'm just gonna put that in the outer corner. This is insane. This is so pigmented, like I'm impressed. I'm a little scared just because like my makeup's not set. So if I have any fallout, it's gonna really stick, but I mean, this is super pigmented. Okay, I'm gonna just blend that out and fluff it around. This isn't my best work. This is not my best work. Now, I'm sure I'm not the only one. This color has been the most intriguing, so we've gotta incorporate it. If it's as pigmented as the other ones, it's gonna be great. So I'm gonna use it on my finger and just pat that on. Oh. oh my goodness, that is so pretty. Oh my gosh, this is so nice. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> This is so shimmery. Wow, this is amazing eyeshadow. Round of applause for Makeup Geek I've never used before. But like, this is ridiculous. I'm gonna take from this highlight palette this light color again, and I'm just going to try and connect the green shimmery with this. We'll see how it goes. I have no real other option. So I'm just gonna try my darndest and under the eye. There we go. Now, I think it will be a little bit of a clash to do this sapphire eyeliner, but I mean, I'm not scared of a little clash. Let's do it. It's the only eyeliner we have. So I'm gonna try and trace in a, just a straight line. I don't usually use these pencil eyeliners either. So this is gonna be a little bit different for me. Wow, that's really sapphire. Okay, I loved the eyeshadow. I'm not loving the look that much, but I think that I'm not gonna judge too harshly until I've done mascara. Now, I've tried the Voluminous before, so I'm gonna go ahead and use this one that I've never used. It's the Falsies Lash Lift. Seems pretty exciting. I'm happy I didn't like accidentally get like colored mascara. We got black, so we're good. My go-to mascara right now is a different Maybelline one, so we will see how this one 
compares. Ooh, so far I'm liking it. This is not your average Mia look though, I will admit. I have one eye with mascara, one without. Mmm, I'm liking this mascara. It's got a thick wand, but it's easy to control. I like that. I think of course we have to put on some lashes. I feel like the ones you guys will want to see is definitely the magnetic Accent lashes now it has been a hot minute since I tried magnetic lashes I have a video on my channel about them and Honestly, I wasn't like I wasn't too bad at putting them on if I remember correctly But I remember I did have a fair bit of practice, but this one has like a little Applicator that's supposed to help and they're also just accents So I feel like that'll be easier than putting the whole thing on. Okay, so I've got the first one. I'm just going to, wow, I need I need so much help. I need like 40 more arms, honestly. Then I'm supposed to put this here. Wait, here, wait, here. There we go. Like this, this. I'm trying to like not get them to stick together. Oh my gosh, they stuck together. What the heck? Okay, which one's the top? You know what, I'm doing it without the applicator. I'm going rogue. So I'm gonna set the eyelash as close as I can to the base on the outside. And then I'm gonna take the bottom one. I believe this is the bottom one. Wait, I think this is the top one. Oops, give me that back. I'm just gonna reset that there. Then I'm just gonna... Did I do it? Oh, whoops, I'm using a metal tweezer. What a great idea. I'm gonna try without metal tweezers. And I'm just gonna let them hug each other. Have a little hug. That's not too bad, right? Kind of looks a little bit busted. Let me try that again. You just gotta like make sure the magnets see each other when it's like not too late. Oh my gosh, second application is freaking killer actually. Whoa, that's pretty good. Okay, let's do it again. That was easy. Okay, Ardell, I see you. That's pretty good. I wonder how much these were. Like, I literally don't know how much because I was blindfolded. I just want to go really low. Oh my gosh, did I do that one too? Okay, I am so impressed with how easy those actually were to use and how good they look. What? Okay, it's been a hot minute since I've used magnetic lashes, but seriously, those were so easy. They look so good. I 100% am happy I got these. I actually could see myself wearing these. Very nice. Okay, and now the eye look looks a lot better. Um, okay, now we gotta do lips. Okay, so I have this NYX Powder to Pout product, and I'm not too sure about this one, just because it is in fact purple, and I just think green eyes and purple lips might not be what I need to do today. But I will say, I'm happy to have this product. It's really cool looking. And then it's just got a little puff on the end. Pretty fun applicator, but I think I'm going to stick with the lipstick that I got and also the gloss. It just seems a little bit more manageable. So this is the Revlon lipstick in soft silver rose and it's a pearl. It's the one I showed you guys at the beginning. So let's apply. Oh my. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know which one is more a mess. Like this is a great lipstick. It's so smooth and pigmented. It's just that it looks a little crazy with my look. But truly, I think the purple would look crazier. So it might just have to work. I wonder if the gloss will help. Probably not. So let's give it a go. Got a pearl. Put on some gloss. Mm, this one's really nice. Oh, I love this gloss. It's not even sticky at all. Oh my goodness, this Rimmel Stay Glossy is like watery gloss. It's like not sticky, like your hair wouldn't get caught in it. That's so nice. I love that gloss, wow. See, like I feel like this is awesome because things that I wouldn't usually buy, I might buy and really like. So I think it's good. Here's the makeup look that we got being blindfolded in Target. So now we're gonna have to do our hair. We will see what I picked. For a hairstyle, what can we come up with? Okay, so already we pulled out these velvet bow clips. I didn't know I got that. This is the one thing that I did see on my peripherals while it was like sitting in the bag because I did have to pack both these bags to get them home. So I saw that there was a little instant heat curler. So we're gonna have some curly hair. And this is the one thing that I'm very confused about. What is this? 
Like, my mom laughed when I picked it up and I... What? Conditioning caps. Cover and nourish. <laughs> what? Is this like when you put on like a leave-in conditioner and then you cover your whole head? I think I understand why my mom was laughing at this because obviously I can't use this too much for the video. Maybe if I was like dyeing my hair or something that would be of use. But I think it's just the curling wand and the bows for this style. So I'm going to plug in this curling wand. Target has so many like hair curling products. Ooh, look at that. That's actually smaller than I thought it was going to be. Okay, let's see. Okay, I've got my hair separated. Got the curling wand heated up. Let's try our first thing. The only thing I'm noticing is the barrel's like not very long. And like usually I need kind of a long barrel. But let's see. Now I know it has a clip, but I like to do the wrap around, even though there's probably gonna be a little dent from the clip. This is just the way that I curl my hair. I find it to be the easiest. What do we got? What do we got? Are we excited? Let's see. I like it. It's pretty. Bouncy, nice. I don't have any hairspray because I didn't grab any blindfolded, but I'm just gonna go about my time curling my hair. This honestly takes quite a while so one eternity later all right these are the curls that i was able to achieve with my new curling wand i like them and okay i do want to put a bow in i kind of feel like i could put it like back like that but i don't want to do it until i know what my outfit is going to look like so now this is the part this isn't the most exciting part i feel like but this is a part I've been very excited about. Now, I got a glimpse at the shoes while I was packing. So I will just show you guys those first. And the rest of it, I don't know. So here are the shoes. These are the ones that I saw. So they are these heels. And they're big chunky heel, sandal, black, kind of feel like velvet. I didn't get just like four products or uh, not just like two, like top bottom. I got a few just to choose from. So first thing is a pair of jeans and these are wild fable fat fable high rise skinny they're just like a light wash i wonder if we will be able to use those and then okay another thing what is this i'm trying so hard to like not look what is this just a black hoodie a new day black hoodie okay i don't know if this will be dressy enough for the heels, hopefully there's a different top that we got, but it feels nice and soft. Okay, another black top we got. Okay, this looks like something that will actually go with the heels and the jeans. It's this really flowy blouse-like black top. It's got a little bow in the front. Okay, this is really, really cute. I feel like this is super wrinkly because it's been rolled up, but I feel like that is a good contender. And then also there is just this white tank top another kind of like basic oh is this a dress is this a skirt this is a dress okay not what i would usually pick but it's like a leopard print loose really really loose dress like this would look really really cute with a belt it's a low in the front that would look good with the heels and then another top wow okay this is a dress it's like a tank top dress. It's a really pretty like tangerine color. Uh, it's got a nice neckline. I don't know what outfit I'm gonna pick. Okay, I think there's one more piece, let's see. Last, but certainly not least, we've got a little white cardigan. Okay, so now after seeing all that, I kind of have like an idea of the outfit that will go best with my hair and makeup and the shoes. So I'm going to go into the other room and we will put that on and see how our whole first thing I choose blindfolded target complete outfit turned out. Let's roll. All right, guys. So I have the whole outfit on now there was a few pieces that i was like contemplating throwing in but i decided that i felt like this was the best outfit out of all of the pieces that i chose the leopard print dress was a close second but i feel like this goes together the best so i decided to throw on the little bow i decided to do white to match the cardigan this is that little black blouse and the pants oh my gosh the pants are short so i decided to just play it up and roll them up. But I actually think it looks cute with these heels. Everything fits 
pretty well, honestly. And like, I feel like this is a decent outfit. I feel like I could teach like a grade six classroom or something. I kind of feel like I look like a teacher right now. Not that I'm complaining about that. It's just like, I'm looking in the mirror right now and I'm just like, do I look like a teacher? I feel like I kind of do. But yeah, so here is the completed look of everything that I picked out blindfolded, first thing I touched at Target. I think it turned out great. I love the way my makeup turned out, the magnetic lashes. I'm surprised the green and the pink lip goes well together. I love the curls. Um, I like the bow. I really like the outfit and I actually like the other pieces that I picked up as well I just think if I have to put one outfit forwards for the video, this is the one I'm gonna choose I feel like I look ginormous though right now. I don't know why like these heels They're not even that high, but I feel like they make me look really big next to the background. I'm like a big big hulk next to like this miniature tree. This is actually like 10 feet tall and I'm like 15 feet tall. But yeah, so let me know down below what you guys think of my outfit and the whole ensemble. And if you guys want to see a video like this one, but maybe with a different brand or with a little different twist, just make sure to let me know down below. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!